The crowd-loving show Mamma Mia is getting a big original Pacific Northwest production at the Fifth Avenue Theater in Seattle happening through February 25th, and you do not want to miss this show. Joining us this morning, Lisa Estridge, who plays Tanya, one of the hilarious <laughs> friends of Donna. Thank you so much for being here and coming in. Thank you for having me. Uh, so congrats on the show. Uh, Mamma Mia, if you're familiar, based on the music of ABBA, it opened on Broadway in 2001, uh, toured for years. There's the film you might have seen with Meryl Streep. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we were just chit-chatting, and some people might, at home might say, oh, I already saw Mamma Mia, but you did not see this, this version. This Mamma Mia. So what is different about this version? Well, this version, first of all, cast-wise, uh -huh. the, the, it's multicultural. Oh, nice. So um, where you would only see one shade, right. you see several shades of people. And that's important. Yes, it's yes. very important. Also, set-wise, oh. um, the set, um, usually with most Mamma Mia's that I have mm -hmm. uh, Googled, have been uh, like a box set. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's like, you know, it's this piece of furniture, that right. piece of furniture. Okay. This set is amazing. There's an entire scrim that changes. It takes you to the beach, or sometimes it'll look like the sky. Oh, sometimes it'll look like water. Uh, so it's gorgeous. There's different levels. I mean, it's just a, an amazing, beautiful set. And it's such a fun show, and I feel like you can just get up and dance, mm -hmm. you know, all the songs. I think we need that. I mean, there is a place for, of course, serious theater, but we need some of this in our life. We need some positivity, and this is the show. Yes. I mean, what I love about the show is sometimes people will come after work yeah. to see the show. So they may be a little grumpy or, you know what I mean, because they <laughs> had a hard day at work. There, exactly. But by the time they leave, they are singing, they're dancing in the aisles, they're hugging each other. Oh. I mean, they're having a great time. Yeah, and I love that because that is the, the true spirit of live theater, and mm -hmm. it brings people together, and that's yes. what the show does. Um, so you play Tanya. Talk yes. a little bit about your role in the show. My role as Tanya is I am one of the best friends of Donna. Okay. And I have not seen Donna in about eight years. <laughs> I mean, she's we were all a part of um, a girl group oh. back in the 1970s. Okay. Um, and it was called Donna and the Dynamos. And uh, we, you know, did nightclubs and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, just did that girl group thing. Right. And then we all went our separate ways. I had gotten married three times and had three divorces. So you're going to have some stories <laughs> in the show. I have some stories. Yeah. Um, um, Donna uh, stayed on this island and decided to, you know, uh, uh, live there, mm -hmm. raise her daughter there, and um, Rosie uh, wrote a cookbook, and she's like a world writer, and she travels, so, you know, that's... I love that. I feel like everyone can relate to maybe one of the mm -hmm. characters. And, yes. And then, of course, like we mentioned, the music. Is there a song that when it comes around, you just never get sick of singing it? Like, this is your jam. And now... It's interesting because Dancing Queen is always like the song. Like yeah. people hear Dancing Queen, they're just like, whoa, they go crazy because <laughs> yeah. it's Dancing Queen. Right. But I mean, a couple of my favorites are um, Winner Takes It All, I Love. Yeah. I love that song. Um, Waterloo that we oh, sing. <laughs> that we I sing love in. that and, one. And a lot yeah. of people don't expect it because it comes up during the bows, but okay. we, we, we sing Waterloo okay. and they love it. It's like a concert in there. So those are my two. No, three favorites. <laughs> I did say Dancing Queen. There you go. Um, so the audience, how are the audiences responding so far? It sounds like it's going really well. They are loving it. Good. They are eating it up with a spoon, <laughs> sipping it with a straw. That's, that's <laughs> the best way. They are loving it. And it's interesting because I've done a lot of shows at the Fifth Avenue, oh. and the place is packed. Yeah. We love it. So if you haven't gotten area. tickets, you need to get them because it is Packed. Absolutely. I mean, that's the thing. Get your tickets right now. And hey, speaking of tickets, we are thrilled that the Fifth Avenue Theater is offering two free tickets to see Mamma Mia. This is for the performance. Check your calendars for February 21st. To win tickets, go to our Q13 Fox Instagram page and sign up there. Mamma Mia runs through February 25th at Seattle's Fifth Avenue Theater. Do not miss it. For tickets, go to www.fifthavenue.org.